The Beijing Paralympic Games are happening right now. The best athletes have been welcomed from around the world and it's going to be very exciting. The athletes have been training and practicing their sport for years, but the work and dedication has been worth it just to compete at the highest level. It is a lot of sacrifice, but in a good way. I wouldn't exchange this for anything in the world. It's um, self-motivation really has gotten me here, but um, committing a lot of time and energy in the pool and outside of the pool to prepare for this, but it's worth it. It's an honor to play for your country and, and to represent your country at the Paralympics. It's really great and I, I love it. If you commit yourself to get to this point and you work hard at what you're doing, I think it adds up at the end, you'll be pleased with your result. I average about 25 hours a week training. I actually train more than I work. <laughs> and sometimes turn up at work a little bit tired. Set. Cool. Libby Clegg is an 18-year-old athlete competing in the 100 meter and 200 meter races. Hard work and commitment earned her place in the Beijing Paralympic Games. I train six times a week. It's a really big commitment. It basically controls your whole life. 90 metres right through the finishing line. I just really liked running because I just found it was quite a good release for me. Go! I think children should maybe take the time to maybe see what sports they like doing. Come on, right through! 9.03. There's so many different sports out there that they may not have heard of or you may not think they're good at, but they could give it a go. There's lots of different disabilities out there that I don't know about and I've never heard of before. And I think it's an opportunity for people to get a better understanding of it. We're all people, you know, and I feel that like, even though it's like a, people have got a disability, there's so much more people can learn about it and it's such a great achievement because they've not only just get over the fact that they've got a disability, they're achieving, you know, something within themselves, within a sport. I get a self-satisfaction out of it and feel that like I've achieved something because people with disabilities know that they can achieve something just as great as I have. I've become more like relaxed within myself as well. After Beijing, the world will be looking forward to joining the UK in 2012. This is why 17th September is so exciting and means so much to us. It's when the handover takes place. The athletes will begin their four year journey to prepare for 2012 and now it's your turn. What are you going to do to be part of it? Well, my table had an idea of doing the languages, making the flags. I think raising money for the Paralympic people and um, making posters. Wearing the clothes that they wear. People couldn't get the face painted. Having a party after, like we could do some of the games in the party. All the excitement, commitment and hard work will be celebrated in the handover ceremony on the 17th September. Make sure that you are part of this very exciting occasion. I think it's going to be really exciting because it's a big event and lots of people will be watching it. For more information, please visit www.london2012.com forward slash Paralympic Handover.